I have another fabric here that I'm going to cut. My blouse is going to have a mini peplum. And the length of this peplum is 7 inches. The peplum is going to be on one side of the front panel. The measurement I'm going to use to calculate this peplum is a quarter of my waist circumference, which is 8 inches. My waist circumference, my waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance gives you 9 inches. To get the radius of to get the waist radius of this peplum, I'm going to use I'm going to divide 9 inches by 6.28 because I want it to be full. 9 inches divided by 6.28 gives you 1.4 but I'll use 1.5 instead. So the radius I'm working with is 1.5 inches plus 7 inches, which, which is the length of my peplum, gives you 8.5 inches plus 1 inch allowance, which I'm going to use half inch to join the peplum to the upper part of my blouse and half inch to hem the peplum, gives you 9.5 inches. So I'll be working with 9.5 inches. My fabric is folded into two. I'm going to fold it again into four. I'm going to start by measuring 1.5 inches from this edge. I'm going to measure 1.5 inches, which is the radius I'm working with. From this edge, I'm going to measure 9.5 inches. So this is my waist radius. Now from here to here, from here to here is 8 inches. The actual length of my peplum is 7 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance makes it 8 inches. So this is the radius. I'm going to cut this off and cut this. So this is it. The second peplum is going to be a lace fabric. And this is a lace fabric. So I'm going to use this one to cut this. I'm going to use it to cut this. And I'm also going to use it to cut, cut this one, which is going to be, which is going to serve as the lining. I'll do it and show you. This is a lace fabric. This one is just to pad this one, while this is the lining. So this is the second step of my peplum. 
have ironed interfacing on it because I want it, I want my peplum to be firm. I want it to be firm. So that is it with this one. Now this is my now this is the back one. I've I've cut out the lining and I've also iron interfacing on all of them. So this is what I'll do. Now this is the back one. Now this is the front one. This is the front one. This is the front. I'm going to cut it. I'm just I'm going to cut one side. This is the front. I'm going to cut one side. Now I'm going to use this one to join to the back. Join it to the back. While the back one, I'm going to cut it into two. the back into two because I'm going to use this part to join it to the front while this is going to be the zipper allowance this is where the zip will be so I cut I, the back I, I opened the I cut the back into two while the front I cut it I just gave it a cut so that is it now another thing I'm going to do is the same thing I did here I'm going to do it on the lining the same way I cut this, I'm going to cut the lining as well. Even this one, I'm also going to cut this one. I'm also going to cut this one. Now this is what I will have after cutting. I will cut these ones too. After splitting the back peplum into two and splitting this one all you need to do is to join you join the back one now this part you bring this one and join it to the front you know i left one inch seam allowance so you join it with one inch seam allowance you join this part with one inch seam allowance one inch seam allowance then you leave here this is where the zip will be this is where the zipper will be so you leave here open after joining this you do the same thing to your lining you join your lining the same way you will join your main fabric then after joining you bring it you bring your lining you place your lining on your main fabric right side facing right side and you join you right side facing right side and you sew the down you hem it hem here with 0 0.5 inch seam allowance you hem it hem all around it after hemming you push the seam to you after hemming you notch notch all around it after notching you push the seam the seam allowance to the lining and top stitch top stitch i'll do it and show you this is the second peplum now this is it i've sewn it and i've I've top stitched, I've top stitched it, I notched and top stitched. So this is it. 
Now this is my peplum. I've joined here. Let me show you what I did. I, after sewing here, I notched it and pushed all the seam allowance to the lining and top stitched. After doing that, I had to cover here. I had to sew. I had to sew the zipper allowance with 0.5 inch, and I turned it inside. Now another thing I'm going to do. This is my second peplum. This is my second peplum. I'm going to attach it to this peplum. Now this my peplum. This my peplum. This is the front. This is the front of my peplum, while this part, now this is the front of my peplum, this is the front, this is the front, while this is the back, one part of the back, and this is another part of the back. My, my zipper allowance is here, I have one and a half inch. I have one inch I've used half inch to sew to sew inside I've used half inch to sew here so what is remaining is one inch seam allowance one inch zipper allowance which I have here now this is my second peplum the second peplum I'm going to attach to this peplum now this is how I'm going to do it I'm going to attach it to the front to I'm going to sew it in such a way that you will not see the seam. So I'm going to put it inside here. So I'm going to, now I'm going to open this up again. I've opened this up. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'll bring this one. I'll bring this and I'll put it in between this, in between the front seam. This is the front and this is the, this in between the front panel and the back panel. Now, this is it. My peplum, this peplum is going to be in between this, in between the front panel and the back panel. Now, this is it. I'm going to hold it and sew it from here. Now let me use pin and let me illustrate with pin so that you really understand what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pin it. I'll pin it down. Because I don't want the seam to be outside. So this is what I have. Now after pinning it down, this is what I have. I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew it. So this is what I have. So after sewing this, I'm going to hold my main seam, my main fabric and the lining and sew it. All around I'm, I'm also going to sew this second peplum together with it I'll sew from here sew here like this and sew here so this is the front of my peplum this is what it will look like this is going to be at the front 
I told you that the peplum, this peplum is going to be on one side of my waist at the front. So this is how what it's going to look like after sewing. So I'm going to sew this round. The waist, I'm going to sew it round. After sewing, I'm now going to attach it to the blouse. This is my blouse. I've joined it. I've joined it together. Now this is it. I sewed here. After sewing here, I notched and ironed it very well. So after that, I did the same to the back. I joined the zipper allowance. The same thing I did on the main fabric. I did the same on the I did the same on the lining. I'm going to shape my blouse. Now this is how I'll do it. This is how I'll do it. My bust circumference. My bust circumference is 38 inches. 38 divided by 2 gives you 19 inches. Now what I have here is, I have 22 inches here. 22 minus 19 inches gives you 3 inches. So I'm going to distribute that 3 inches on this. I'm going to distribute that 3 inches here and here. So 3 divided by 2 gives you 1.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 1.5 inches here. 1.5 inches here. And I'll mark the same thing here. Now my underbust circumference is 30 inches. 30 divided by 2 gives you 15 inches. And I have, what I have here, I have... I have 20 and a half inches here. 20 and a half minus 15 gives you 5 and a half. 5 and a half. So I'm going to distribute that 5 and a half inches here and here. So I'm going to divide 5 and a half by 2 and it gives you 2 three quarter. So I'm going to mark three quarter, 2 three quarter here and 2 three quarter here. So, I'm going to come down to my waist. My waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 2 gives you 16 inches. 16 inches. And what I have here, what I have here, I have, I have 19 inches. 19 minus 16 inches gives you 3 inches. It gives you 3 inches. So I'm going to distribute that 3 inches here and here. So 3 divided by 2 gives you 1 and half inches. So this is it. It's better. I'm going to connect these points together. Now, it's better to have excess so that after sewing, you can trim. Better to have excess instead of having shortage. When you have shortage, which means when you run short of fabric, it means you've spoiled a client's clothes or you, you've spoiled your own clothes. But if you have excess, you can trim it out later. So this is it. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to mark one and a half inch. What I need here, what I need, the allowance I need is one and a half inches seam allowance. So I'm going to mark one and a half inches. I just need one and a half inches seam allowance. Then I'll cut off the other parts. I'll cut off the excess.
So I'm going to cut off this part. Now this is the excess I have. I'm going to cut it off. This is my blouse. I've joined the shoulder and I ironed it very well. I've joined the seam, the side. Now this is it. This is what I have. I did the same thing on the lining. So now I'm going to open up the zip. The zipper allowance. I'm going to open it up. So I've opened up the zipper allowance. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to join the neck line now this is how i'll join it i'm going to join it right side facing right side now this is what i'll do i'll join it right side facing right side just like this i'm going to join it like this first of all i'm going to hold it with i'm going to pin it down so that it will be easy for me to sew then I'll join it like this, join it, and then I'll sew it. I have I've sewn it with half inch seam allowance. Now I'm going to notch it. After notching, I'm going to push the seam, this seam allowance, I'm going to push it to the lining and top stitch. I'll push it to the lining and sew on top of the lining. Sew it on top of the lining just like this. I've top stitched it. So this is what it looks like after sewing. So this is my peplum. I've sewn the waist. I joined the, um, the lining and the main fabric together. I've also attached the second peplum. To the main fabric I'm going to show you two ways of joining your peplum to your blouse the first pattern of joining your peplum to your blouse you bring your blouse when you bring your blouse you sew it you join the join the lining and the peplum together take it to your sewing machine and join it together now let me show you let me use pin to illustrate Now after doing that, you bring your peplum, this is your peplum, you bring your peplum and you join your peplum, attach the peplum to the blouse, right side facing right side, this is what you do after sewing. You attach your peplum to your blouse, right side facing right side. This is it, you sew. Take it to your sewing machine and sew it with half inch seam allowance. Sew with half inch seam allowance. Sew it to the end. After sewing, you now add your sleeve and your zipper. You add your sleeve and your zipper. Now, I'm going to show you another way. Now, another way to do this is this. You open up your, open up your blouse like this. And you bring your peplum. Stand your peplum in between, in between the lining and the main fabric. Now, when you do that, take note, this is the hem. This is the hem, while this is the waist. This is the waist. Now, make sure that the lining is facing lining. And main fabric is facing main fabric. Now, you bring the lining. Bring the lining and you pick your peplum. This is your peplum. Lining facing lining. You join it together. 
you bring your main fabric, main fabric facing main fabric. This is your peplum, main, and this is your blouse. Main fabric facing main fabric. You join it together. Now after that, now make leave you leave either half inch seam allowance here or or quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now when you leave that, whatever you leave here, you will do the same thing here. Now. So after that, you pin it down. Pin it down so that it will be easy for you to sew. Also leave leave half inch seam allowance or quarter of an inch on this part. Leave half inch seam allowance or quarter of an inch on this part. Now after pinning it down, you push in, now this is the side, you push it, you push, this is your peplum, push your peplum inside, make sure you don't sew your peplum or you don't pin it down. So you push it inside and you sew, you, you sew with either half inch or quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now I'm still pinning it because I want to show you what it, will look, what it looks like at the end of the day, showing you how to do it. Now this this is your zipper this is your zipper allowance. This is your zipper allowance. So if you're sewing, you're either sewing so either you sew with quarter of an inch, or you sew with half inch. The same thing you did here, you're going to do it to this other side. This is your peplum. Make sure you don't sew your peplum or you don't pin it. Push your peplum inside. Then you pin. Or you sew. But it's better to pin it down first. It's better to pin it down so that it will be easy for you to sew.
So after that, you are going to bring out your peplum from your from your armhole. Now this is your armhole and this is your armhole. You are going to bring out your peplum from your armhole. Now this is what I will do. Bring out everything, even the zipper, the zipper allowance, bring it out. Now this is what I have. This is what it will look like after sewing. This is your zipper allowance. After sewing, you attach your zipper allowance. You attach your zip, attach your zipper to this to this part, and you fix your sleeve. So now look at it. I've not sewn it, but yet, I've, yet I've, even though I've not sewn it, it's still looking beautiful. So this is what to do. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine, and I'll sew it. I'll sew it and attach my zipper and my sleeve. And I'll show you the outcome. Now look at the inside. This is the inside. You're not seeing any seam. So I'll do it and show you what it looks like. After sewing, I'm going to attach this applique to my gown to my blouse. Now this is my blouse. I've attached the appliques and the second peplum, the half peplum. Now this, this is the inside. It's a seamless blouse. You're not seeing any seam. Now I'm going to use bias tape to to sew here, to sew my armhole and here. I've fixed the sleeve. This is the sleeve. This is the sleeve. You might be wondering why the color of my fabric is different. It's the same fabric. It's just that while I was videoing, the settings of my camera changed and I didn't know. And I was still videoing. Only for me to find out later. So, please bear with me. My next video will be better. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You can share your work with us on Facebook at Sewing Tutorials by Lizama Stitches. And feel free to follow me on Instagram at Lizama Stitches. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!